Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. As the recording of this TGIF is Friday, September 22nd, 2023, I'm standing here at the basis, or the base, I should say, of the Hollywood Hills, here in my hotel in the parking structure, and I am heading over to a couple of places, the culmination being the opening night of LA Haunted Hayride in Griffith Park, which is just right there. I'm pretty much right in Griffith Park. But first, gotta go to Bob's Big Boy, enjoy a meal, meet up with some friends there, and then we are all gonna congregate our efforts together as nightfall rears its head for LA Haunted Hayride, an event I go to pretty much every year for the past five or six years, give or take. I've been going to it a while. I love it. It's a little, it's different, but I enjoy it. Join me. Shall you? That is a pretty cool looking storybook house there. I'm over in Burbank now. Couldn't park at Bob's because they are doing the Friday night car show, which I have always wanted to see, but I have not been able to attend, so parking's a little difficult. Had to go a few blocks away, park in this residential area. I'm gonna hoof it over there. Burbank. Yeah, now that I'm kind of looking at this, I'm thinking maybe we should have chose a different location because it might be kind of difficult to find a table in here. Classic car alert, pulling in there. You got Bob's out front, you got Bob out front, oh, the mascot, which I, I don't know, I call him Bob, but he may be called something else. Yeah, you can just see there is quite a plethora of vehicles here. Car hop on site. There he is. I'm gonna go see if we can put, him, put my name in. All right, put my name in. They said it's gonna be a half hour for a table of five or six, so kind of curious to see how that pans out, see what everybody else thinks, and then go from there. And while waiting, we can look at some classic cars through here. There's definitely plenty to look at. Yeah, they're just continually pulling through and parking. It's tough to find parking around here, not only because Bob's is busy on a Friday night, but also because there's a lot of cars taking up the spots for good reason. This is giving me uh, Old Town Kissimmee vibes, except I am in greater Los Angeles area in Burbank. And like I said, I've always wanted to go to the one here at Bob's Big Boy, and I never had. I've always heard rumors that sometimes Jay Leno will just randomly show up. Pretty often he will show up, but he's not here, I don't see him here. All right, ended up getting a table, and there was ended up being six of us. I was hoping we get the Beetle, the Beetle uh, booth in the corner where they have the placard, but this place was really, really busy, and ended up just getting the, the regular booth, but we all six, six of us sat in the booth off to the side and got, got a variety of different things. I took a photo of all of us too for posterity. And here is the group photo. Six of us crammed in a Bob's Big Boy booth. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty full. I always get the, I got the onion rings and I got I always get the chili spaghetti. I think I've eaten at Bob's about 100 times in my life and I would say 98% of the time, 99% I always get the, the chili spaghetti. All right, we ended up parking over here. They do have a shuttle. So interesting fun fact, this parking area back in the day up until three or four years ago, well, a couple years ago, they used to have the hayride down there. They'd have that big stack of pumpkins and the line went all the way this way. It used to go through the old empty zoo. But they have done away with that. And now it is down the hill. All right, we are walking by the carousel where Walt Disney had stated that he was inspired to create Disneyland. We'd come here with his daughters and sit on the benches here. In fact, when you go to Disneyland, you can see one of the benches, also the family museum in San Francisco has one of the benches. I like how we're going to a Han event, but we're just more enamored by this Disney carousel. <laughs> right there. Well, the carousel, to be fair, the carousel is better than the Han event we're going to. Oh, come on! <laughs> this is who you talk to. Well, this carousel is responsible for Disneyland. That's a good point, that's a good point. Valid point. As we're walking up, I want to mention that there's going to be a lot of scary images, strobe lights, fog effects, lots of strobe lights. So if you're sensitive to strobe lights, just be weary or wary. There's going to be a lot of strobe lights. So strobe light warning overload. I've been to this event before and this might be the most heavy strobe light event of most of the Halloween times. They really, they really utilize, they know how to utilize the strobe. So just a heads up. So I want to, I almost tripped. I want to point out a little thing. I always mention that no one ever cares, but this sewage grate over here was used in the TV show Beauty and the Beast as the Beast layer. What? The Linda Hamilton oh, the, the CW one? Beauty and the Beast, yes. Linda Hamilton, the Beast, crawled in and out of there, but you gotta go around this way to get the angle. Down <laughs> How the do you sewage. know that information? <laughs> yeah, right here, this is the Beast layer. They just put some foliage around it, but if you crawled up in there, which I wouldn't recommend doing at this time of the hour in LA, you can see people have gone in and left inscriptions on there 
dedicating their love to the Linda Hamilton Beauty and the Beast show right inside the little sewage grate there, a the little runoff. Last time I was here, you told me that the opening to Full House was shot like somewhere over here. It was where we, we it was back that, yeah, way. back that way. Yeah. That's true, I did. It's fake. It's not in San Francisco. Nope. What the heck? <laughs> we're gonna, oh, we're gonna talk to, okay. All right. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Thanks for having us. We're going in right here, underneath this tunnel here of smoke and fog and horrifying eye, oh, being filmed. There's a camera guy right here. Oh, got the cat. There's also a line for this thing called the Boogeyman right over here. I decided school sucks, I'm not going back. <laughs> Am I right? You guys know, you never went to school. How are you, Midnight Falls? How are we having a good Halloween so far? How's the trick-or-treating going? Woo! Oh, very good. Which one? Go ahead, yell it out. Use your outside voice. What? What? Oh, there's no way we're doing that, even though it's a scary movie. I refuse to do Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. <laughs> we'll scare everyone right out of here. Those are all good ideas. Come back to the second show. We might do them all. This is our tribute to a little no movie called Not the Exorcist, Dumb Dumb. All right, now we are going to head over and do the hayride first. Five cents for some ice cream over here. We're heading over now and doing the first, the mainstay, the haunted hayride. We're doing that first. All right, we're heading in now. We're on our way over to the full service garage. <laughs> we ended up getting our wristbands. No issues with the wristbands as well, with the QR code. Oh, there's a little stuff there. Thank you. Not too many people here tonight, not too busy. Please, on that end. All right, far one. Yep, thank you. Hey, Dale, hey, Dale. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down. So I was here at Midsummer Screen, they were saying they're actually gonna have seats on these. This is the first year that there's been seats on the Hayride. Which is kind of nice. Oh. oh, look at this. So we're actually gonna be sitting on hay and not just on the lower ground of the hay. So that's pretty awesome. The strobe started already. Yeah, all they have is strobe flashlights. <laughs> well, you're in luck. This is the first year they've actually had seats, bales of hay seats. Would you just like sit on the floor? You would sit on the ground. Yeah. You get up in your keys and your wallet, and you were just like, "Where's my wallet? It's down in here somewhere." This is nice. Your knees like creak like when you stand up. That was my favorite announcement from Midsummer Scream. That was probably the biggest announcement for Big Summer. Big Summer Scream. Yes. I dare to awaken you. There it is. Midnight Falls Halloween Festival. That's pretty cool. Oh, I hear chainsaws. and then a monster screaming, groaning. All necessary licenses and supplies are located at the Midnight Falls Bait and Tackle Shop. Oh, there's that big spider. 
That's it. I think, I think that's that's it. That's the hayride. <laughs> okay, I've been to a lot of these. That was something. That was something. <laughs> that was truly, truly something. Yeah, not a lot. There wasn't a lot of monsters and ghouls on there. This is the first night, but. My that favorite was, uh, was like the inflatable UFO that you go through. Yeah. And there's no scare actors. You're just like an alien, just like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's opening night. Yeah. It's midnight falls. All bets are like. The, we all saw the giant kraken. <laughs> and the guy in the spirit Halloween giant inflatable like pirate costume just going. Ah. <laughs> he was my favorite. He was. A, he was uh, awesome. Scare actor of the hayride. How many scare actors do you think were on there? I can probably there. count them all on my hands. <laughs> I think there was more or less last year than this year in the last couple less of years. Less actors for sure. Yeah. But like, yeah. But it seemed longer though for some reason. I don't know, maybe the, the I just The past seemed it. longer, yeah. Yeah, the past seemed longer, but not it's the actors. extra turns because they just, you know, they needed to add some time. Yeah. yeah. It was fun, but it just didn't seem it had the same oomph as the previous years. Yeah, I did like the seats. That made it the seats, a lot better. The, the seats were nice. They were nice. They were yeah, the merch is really, really awesome. They always have really good merch. Love it. Yeah, and then over here, there's even more. You got the ghosts and the ghouls on there. You got the cat over here. All right, he does have his own shirt right there. Los Angeles Haunted Hayride presents Monte Revolta. World tour every day is Halloween night. <laughs> All right, now walking over into the three maze area, and we're going to get our photo over here with the very famous hay Haunted Hayride pumpkin wall over here in the, in the distance. Got to get the photo with the pumpkin wall. All right, now into trick or treat. Yeah, take a look. There's like a hand in the mailbox right there. We're going to go into this creepy cabin right over here. That's a good so photo. Because you and Monty. Very nice. I love it. Hey, camera's on me. Camera's, camera's on, me. on you. Come on down. Follow you that way? My four wives right here. They don't have names. They just go by one, two, three, and four. Okay. And then that's five. Oh! Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Stand here. Come on. Let's move. Oh, we're moving in. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Going through this, like, what is this? Okay. Oh, it's a cow. She's a cow. Yeah. And what is this thing? That's Bucky. That's Bucky. Check out the scary go round. There's also a little restaurant or something over there. A little quick serve. Not sure what that is. We got the scary go round over here. And this is the newest maze or newest house called Hellbilly Halloween. Okay, got a motorcycle set up over here. Now we're going to be going inside this facade, heading into the Hellbilly, entering in to the newest maze here at Griffith Park Haunted Hayride. So it's not just a hayride, there's also, oh, some boots. It's also three mazes, at least three mazes. No! That's a pig. Yeah, that's a pig. Man. pig man. Very dark in here. Honestly, very, very, very dark. Yeah, I'm liking this already, though. I'm liking the vibe. Very dark. Really can't see anything. Okay. Oh, my God. 
This way? This way. I gotta go around you? I gotta go around you? We've done we've done two mazes and the hayride, with the exception of Monte Revolta. I think the, my favorite one was the was the the new one. Now, even though this particular line does not have anyone in it, we're amusing ourselves by going down the line. Oh, don't leave me hanging! Don't leave me hanging! Don't leave me hanging! Don't leave me hanging! Good game. We're playing a game. Thank you. Getting our steps in here. 
Let's go team. Division one, here you let's, come. Let's go. I didn't know I was gonna be getting this many steps in today. Small <laughs> to walk through an empty line. It's gonna be. <laughs> I know. What? We could have just moved the barricades just to make it a little easier to walk through. We could have. We okay. want you to get the most out of your time here. It's all part of the experience. And just like this, this is, this is the last house of the three houses. Saw Monty, which you're probably going to see from his last out on the way out. It's a hayride itself. And the scary go round. And Bob's going in. What was the name of this one again? Midnight Manor. Midnight Manor. Ooh, look at this guy. I like that. Oh no, it's Midnight Mortuary. Thank you. Got an organ playing. Ooh, that does not look healthy. This guy on the couch over here. We're gonna do a little late night coffee over here at Cat Fight Coffee. Life's too short for bad coffee, which I completely agree with. There's this coffee right there, and you got the black cat over there. This is Cat Fight Coffee. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Hey, yours is like a little baggy right there. Wow. And what did you get? It's a cold brew. That's a cold brew? Yeah. It comes out a little baggy. Mine, I didn't realize this. But this is, this is the focus, of the greatest coffee in the universe, Cat Fight Coffee. Congratulations. I want a coffee bag. Oh, do you just like, oh, you put the straw in there. There you go. Hello, Midnight Fly. And happy Halloween. What's your favorite scary movie? Go ahead, yell it out all at once. A what? Freddy vs. Jason! Why did I come out here? <laughs> Anyways, it's me, the late Monty Revolta, star of the Monty Revolta show. We're going to 
gonna do some more of these horror movie tributes. Uh, you like horror movies? Yes! You guys are sickos! That's why I like you. <laughs> Family. Let me hear you, Midnight Falls. Yay! Now, if you don't mind, uh, I'd like to uh, get a little romantic with you. Is that all right? Yay! No, no, not like that. HR is here tonight at the whole thing. <laughs> I mean, in another way, like with the ladies. All right, well, do we have any ladies here tonight? Yay! Doubtful, doubtful. <laughs> Don't get that, will you? Get it up for Raleigh, everyone. Ah, shut up, that's enough. Get it for Miss Morty on the oxygen tank. Today would be nice. There it is. All right, thank you. Ah, cheers, everyone, cheers. Cheers. You know what? I don't think I can continue. We're gonna have to call it a night. Is that all right? Oh. Just get the hell out of here. No. Brady Millennials. <laughs> Here we go. Let me try it again. This reminds me of a joke. You want to hear a joke? Yes. yes. Knock, knock. Who's there? Give me a second here. Let me try. I got bad news. I think I can continue. Give it up for Miss Marte on the oxygen tank. Let's see, uh, where was I? I came out here, I was handsome and revolting. I did a whole bunch of cardio. I'm not gonna do that again. Knock, knock, Joe! What? Knock, knock! Mom, will you please? <laughs> I came out here and then I made fun of all you guys that are obviously not supposed to be 50 yards from schools, churches, or public playgrounds. <laughs> now listen, I, I don't know if you're aware of this. But these very grounds right here, you know, that haunted hayride, yeah. is built on the burial ground. You're lying! Of course I'm lying! <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> thank you, Midnight Falls! Thank you! Thank you! No, thank you. No, thank you! And then thank me, will you? And just leave it at that. <clears throat> Give it up for my ex-wife, everyone. <laughs> I'd like to bury you in the pet cemetery. Happy. 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 Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. <laughs> All right, uh, well, unfortunately, it's time for me to go back to the Fino parlor. No! Shut up, I gotta go to bed early and try to get those Swifty tickets. <laughs> I think that's it. It is now closed. It is 11 p.m. And I head out. Another year in the books. That was awesome. And that's going to do it for today. And from Griffith Park Haunted Hayride 2023 opening night, Monte Revolta was awesome. And the mazes were pretty good. And the hayride was, it was different than the years past, but it was still fun. Always a good time. This is a staple for me during the Halloween season here in SoCal. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. LA Haunted Hayride. What'd you think of your first hayride? Okay, you know, let's not talk about the hayride. Let's just talk about Every, Monty. Yeah. Monty is everything. Like, he's the main draw of the show. Book a flight now. <laughs> just come here for him. We we thought the set was going to be the same set, but he does three sets, and it sounds like they're all different. Yeah. So it's like a three-hour-long Monty show. He stepped it up this year. He changed it up. From, I've seen him previous years, and I've never seen any of those songs before. Oh, yeah. One last thing. I want to show the photos from the event here, some of the photos that we took. That one kind of was backlit a little bit, but 
see all of us. That one's really blurry. You get the idea.